Welcome to News Bites with a Difference. I'm Doug Giesbrecht, and the news is different because we can all pray together and make a difference together with the true Lord Jesus Christ, the greatest man living. In these days we live in, we need to pray for God to intervene. The WHO, World Health Organization, uses six phases of pandemic alert to gauge levels of threat. The world is currently in phase three, meaning that a new influenza virus subtype is causing diseases in humans but is not yet spreading efficiently. Kiji Fukuda, coordinator of WHO's Global Influenza Program, says the risk is as great as it has ever been. The threat has not gone away. The avian flu virus rarely infects people, but there have been 382 human cases worldwide since 2003. 241 of them fatal. Let's pray together. In Jesus' name, we cry out to you, Father. Hear our cry. For you say in 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven answer their prayers and heal their land. So we cry out to you in Jesus' name for you to build your kingdom in these last days. Amen. The risk of a human influenza pandemic remains real and is growing as the bird flu virus becomes entrenched in poultry in more countries. 150 experts are attending a meeting hosted by the WHO to update its guidance to countries on how to boost their defenses against a deadly global epidemic. The H5N1 avian flu virus has infected flocks in much of Asia, Africa, and parts of Europe. These experts fear it could mutate into a form that passes easily from person to person, sparking an influenza pandemic that could kill millions. The risk of a pandemic remains and is probably expanding, said a disease control expert at Thailand's health ministry, who is chairing the four-day meeting of 150 experts, Dr. Supamit Chunsidawat. He noted the highly pathogenic H5N1 virus persisted on three continents and had caused human cases in Indonesia, Egypt, and China this year. We are concerned that the spread through migratory birds hasn't stopped. We can't delude ourselves about the threat of pandemic influenza. It has not diminished. The timing of a pandemic remains speculative. Again, we need to pray. Father God, in Jesus' name we come to you. Hear our cry for your wisdom, for scientists, doctors, politicians, experts in all areas. Give them your wisdom to prevent these possible deadly outbreaks of disease. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The WHO has set up two global stockpiles of the antiviral Tamiflu containing 5 million treatment courses. It is also developing a vaccine stockpile which, when a vaccine has been produced, should initially contain 150 million doses. At least 16 companies are working on vaccines to prevent bird flu infection in people. Some newer generation vaccines are very close to regulatory approval. Large-scale commercial production of a vaccine will not start until a pandemic virus has emerged because the vaccine must closely match the strain. Again, Let's pray together. Hear our cry in Jesus' name, Father God. We cry for wisdom in developing technologies, distribution patterns, storage facilities, everything necessary to fight these diseases if they occur. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Fukuda said, a pandemic could shut down businesses and schools and overwhelm health care systems, particularly in poor countries. Most countries have drawn up pandemic plans, 
but the level of preparedness varies. The WHO aims to revise its 2005 guidance to its 193 member states by year end to give people and countries better tools to deal with. Pandemic preparedness is not just a health sector effort. It is something that requires the whole of society's perspective. Again, let's pray together. In Jesus' name, Father, we come together to cry out to you and ask you to give us courage, to give us boldness, to keep praying for individuals and organizations in this war against diseases so that we're doing our part in whole society preparedness. Father, in Acts 12.23, Father, Herod was killed by the angel of God with worms because he refused to give you the glory to give you the praise, to give you the honor you deserve. Father, we want to return to you all praise and glory in the face of possible disasters. And we ask you to build your kingdom, expand the table for the marriage supper of the Lamb in these last days, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you, and God bless you. We produce new bites daily. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news as it happens.